Those whose intelligence has stolen by the matter or desire to surrender and the demigods and follow the particular rules and regulations of worship according to their own natures. So, one should see that there's <clears throat> only one God above the others. Vedas explain that there's devas as well, which are demigods, which are souls, just like you and me. But because of their pious actions, they have <clears throat> get the opportunity to be born as a, as a divine beings on this material, into this material world, on the higher levels of the higher than human beings. And they can they can do things like control the natural phenomenon and stuff like that, but they are not the supreme. So sometimes people get attracted. Even today, people get attracted to these <clears throat> these demigods. They are all devotees of the supreme. We should give our respect to them. At the same time, we should understand that they are servant of the Supreme, and uh, not to worship them as the Supreme. Krishna is explaining here that that uh, when one becomes bewildered by the material desires, when one gets attracted to these demigods, like example Gan Ganesh, and then they once, uh, once start to worship this and for forget to direct the consciousness towards the Supreme, which is who is there providing all the benedictions coming through these demigods. So there's no problem to give the respect to these demigods. You know. But you see it as, as a supreme, that's the problem. Bhagavad Gita Gita.